Hey Mom. Hey Mom. Welcome back to Deadly Kindies. This is one of our deadly little moments, and today we are looking at a bit of science. That's right. Hey Mom. I'm Candy. I work in the Deadly Kindies team, and also at Birthing in Our Community. And I'm excited for science experiments. It's Science Week, and we are absolutely loving it. We've been doing lots of deadly activities, so make sure if you get up to anything for Science Week, um, send us some photos or a video. Hey, sis, we'd yeah. love to see what the Jarjums are doing and what you're learning about. And hopefully, we can teach you some things today. And you might even do this one at home too, because it's stuff that you probably have around the house or at Kindy. Yeah, no, definitely. So today we're going to look at some colour recognition. Yeah. Um, what we're going to use some paper towel. We've got some paper towel, and we're going to look at walking colours, like a walking rainbow. Definitely. So we'll fill these cups up with water. Um, Kendi's going to help us with dropping in some food colouring. I'm excited about that. And we're going to see what happens to the paper towel when we pop it into one half of the glass and the other half of the glass. All right. Let's get started. Okay, do we pour the water first? Um, oh, I don't know. Does it matter? I Let's see. Know. Maybe we can do half and half. Okay. That's what science is about. That's right. Exploring. That's so right. So I'll do these two yep. with water and you do those three with food colouring. Okay. Ooh. We just do any colour in there? Yeah, yep. any colour. Do four drops, you know, and that's the thing about science, you know, it's so many different topics. Um, here's, I'll pass you two one. colors Thank too. You. Hey? Um, you know, let me talk about STEAM, you know, science, technology, engineering. Uh, that's arts, really cool. And math. Oh, beautiful. I love seeing what happens to food coloring or anything when it goes in the water. Yeah. How many drops did you do, sis? I did four, I just did like you. Yeah. yeah. All right, then I'll add my water. So this is something that we'd always talk about when I worked at a kindergarten about pouring. Uh, you always hold the handle and the belly and that makes you uh, have a little bit more stability. And then you can pour. Oh, beautiful. We fill it all the way to the top, sis. Yeah, let's do it. I'm can stirring mine with them. Um, with my finger. <laughs> Purple. Then what colour did I put in here? <gasps> Deadly. Green. And then do, 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 do. fill it up, fill it up. And that's uh, talking about math concepts too, you know, uh, half full or empty, quarter, yeah. uh, three quarters of the way full, a third full. So lots, so much learning that you can do just from such a simple activity like Thank this. You. Hey, sis. Yeah. And, you know, as we just said, we're focusing on science and you would have just seen the difference between Kendi and I and putting this together. So I filled mine with water and you could see the different patterns and the different... Yeah, I loved how it was yeah. kind of swirling and whirling, you could You could know? see everything happening inside the water, but when you added the food colouring first, you just saw the water just turn colored. different colours. Yeah, straight it's just away. very vibrant straight away. Yeah. But you saw the process here. So that was pretty deadly. I liked that. Mm -hmm. These right. look so nice. I know. They're like nice little drinks, Yeah, hey? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get started with putting okay. some of our... Paper plate, paper plates, paper towel, paper towels even. So we kind of make it in like a rainbow shape, yeah. don't we, sis? So we dip it in one side, and then we dip it in the other side. Hopefully, it stays there. Oh, like I can that. see it already. Look at it. Go, go, and then go. We'll go half and half yeah. in the middle, and see what and happens. Dip in there. Got it. Yeah, you got yours too. Yeah. Okay, deadly. And then all we do now is. Wait and see. Oh, this one's already oh, happening. Look at that. Can you see? This one's growing. It grows all the way to the top. Sis, that's so deadly. Look. Oh, and these ones are starting to combine. Oh, yeah. Can we even see like a little bit of blue? Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, purple is red and blue put together. That's it another is, that's thing that right. you could talk about when we're talking about science and mixing colour concepts and things like that. Um, and you could always too, like, maybe time like how quick yeah. does it take for this one because this yeah. one went real quick and i'm wondering if that's because maybe there was more water, water that's right do you reckon yeah but it's absorbed, that's absorbed why it's quicker well. yeah 
that's the best thing about science. There's so many yarns you can have, so many different experiments experiments that can be done. Mm -hmm. Like if it doesn't work, why didn't it work? Yeah. Or if it did work, like what can we do next time? Or what? why did this happen? Why didn't it happen? So, you know, it's always really good to have those yarns. And I'm thinking too, like imagine if maybe we put um, like eight drops of food colour yeah. in. Would these colours be really... Um, vibrant and brighter or maybe if we only put um, two food, uh, food two drops of food coloring in um, maybe it would be more of a pastel color yeah. you know yeah it's um the opportunities are really endless and that's yeah, why that's we love right. science and 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 yarning about science because it just it makes your brain wonder and question and um, you know that's that's what life's about isn't it you know we love it and it brings all the, that vocabulary and language mm. skills and you know getting judges to use their voice a lot yeah and Tell using their yeah thinking. using what their is, imagination yeah. and getting them to question the experiment question themselves yeah um you know what they can do it's always good to give them guidance but you know what can you do and what do you want to do mm. giving them that choice um to learn yeah oh, look that one's nearly joined yeah, yeah. hey Oh, deadly. I love this activity. I might um, do this one at playgroup with our jar gems. I reckon they would love and this. And it's such a simple activity That's to right. do at home and at kindy. So much learning to be done. And we, lo we love those ones. We love the simple activities. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I put a little bit more water in these ones, if it will grow. What do you think? Go on then. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, oh wow it is growing Let's see how we go yeah look i can see can you see that puddling there's more water moisture going up this one's slowly going too and these ones are starting to blend together and you can really see maybe if we would have put more color drops in if this would have um, come together a lot more because red and orange, uh, red and yellow usually make orange. That's right. And blue and yellow usually make green. And you can see a little bit here. I can see a little bit of green yeah. there. So yeah, So Very maybe good. if we would have added a little bit more to make it a little bit stronger, it would have been a bit more um, obvious. But that's what you can do at home and show us what you get up to. So if you want to use a few more drops, make sure you send us some photos or a video and um, that we, sounds good. We, then we can find out if the colours do merge together and make those new colours. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, that's that was your I had the best oh, time. I, I really enjoyed this activity. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this one again. So thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye, you mob. Bye.